Hi guys, Alex here from the AKA Gaming, and today uh, we are going to be doing our third episode on our FIFA 18 rating prediction. Last two episodes, first one we did Liverpool, then we did Man United. Today we are going to be doing Real Madrid. So, actually, let's just get the 4 3 2 1 quick. I've got to put the players in default first, first so. We'll need to be extremely quick here. Uh, I'm just going to put the players in there like normal. Like the normal round we do players in, and then do what I think they'll be on FIFA 18. So guys, first up Kel Navas. Uh so that's FIFA seventeen card, let's just do the players what I think they'll be in FIFA eighteen. This is episode three by the way, and yeah. Kel Navas, eighty five, I think he'll be eighty six next FIFA. I think his diving will go down, his handling will go up by one, kicking up by two, reflexes stays the same, speed down by one but positioning up by one as well and yeah I just think that'll be his next year's card guys <coughs> and yeah Marcelo now 86 this year I think 85 is more suitable for him and that's what I will next year the pace upgrade to 80 shooting down grade to 67 passing down grade to 79 dribbling down grade to 83 defending now grade to 81 but physical upgrade to 81 and that'll be his next year's card Sergio Ramos, 89, I think, a more respectable 88 is better. He's one of the best defenders in the world, of course. But in being higher than defenders like Godin, um, Chiellini this year, I think that was a bit inaccurate, to be honest. Pace, I think that'll be go down to 77. Shooting will go up to 65. Passing will go up to 71. Dribbling will go up to, s no, stay the same. Defending will drop down to 86, physical will go up to 84, and yeah, that that is still a very good card. But I think Ramos is a brilliant attacking defender, but as a defensive defender, I don't think he is that good, to be honest. Pepe, 88, I think 87. He has proven his upgrade pace by 3, shooting downgrade by 1, passing upgrade by 1, dribbling upgrade by 1. Defending, downgrade by one, physical upgrade by two, and yeah, I think this year's 88 pay, pay that was too high. I think most people would agree with me there, but um, next year I think 87 will be good because he has he's not as aggressive as he used to be, and yeah, he'll just be he's proven himself to be one of the be be one of the best defenders. Carver Hell 84 this year. I think he'll got to 85. I think he's on the levels of Marcelo now. He's just not being recognised for it. Pace upgrade by 2. Shooting upgrade by 4. Passing upgrade by 1. Dribbling upgrade by 1. Defending downgrade by 2. Physical upgrade by 1. And that is a very well rounded card apart from the shooting but right backs don't really need that to be honest. And the furthest ever goal I scored on FIFA from a defender was with um Carver Hell guys in fact. Luka Modric eighty nine. I think he will stay eighty nine. One pace downgrade, one shooting upgrade, one passing upgrade, 
dribbling down grade by one, defending one upgrade and physical stays the same. And yes, stays 89. I think 89 was a very fair rating. He's one of the best midfielders in the world. James Rodriguez, guys. <clears throat> I think he, considering, yeah, considering Rakitic is an 87 as well, I think Hammers should be an 88 with one pace upgrade, one shooting upgrade, a two passing upgrade. Dribbling stays the same. Defending, one upgrade, and physical, two upgrade. And that is a very good card now. Probably one of the best attacking midfield cards in the game. If if that does apply, of course. Now we're going on to Tony Cruz. 88. Yep, yeah, I think he will stay an 88 rated. I think him and Hammers are about the same. And Modric is that midfielder that's a bit better. Pace. Upgraded by 3. Shooting. Upgraded by 2. Passing stays the same. Dribbling upgraded by one. <coughs> Defending downgraded by two. Physical stays the same. And even though he stayed 88, his stats have went up quite a lot. So you wouldn't think he stays the same, but I think that pace makes him 88 rated. If he had better pace, let's be honest, he'll be 90 rated. Like plus, probably. Now. Highest rated player in FIFA 17 was Ronaldo, 94. I think he's going to stay 94. But with one downgrade on pace, two upgrade on shooting. So he has 94 shooting, guys. In terms of passing, I think it goes up by 3 to 84. Dribbling down by 1 to 90. Defending down by 2 to 31. And physical stays the same. And guys, that card is just amazing. Look at that. The 91 pace won't do much. The 94 shooting and the 84 passing will just make this card next level. But I think he'll stay the same. Benzema, 87 rated. Um, I don't know, God. I think that's fair. 87 is fair. I think he needs a 2 pace upgrade. A one shooting upgrade, a three passing downgrade, a one dribbling downgrade, a two defending upgrade, and a one physical upgrade, and stays the same rating in general. It's not, to be fair, I know they're good stats all round for striker, but for 87 rated, they're not that good. Now, anyway, 90 Bale. I think Gareth Bale will stay as a 90 rated player. With a two pace upgrade to 96, I think it's the fastest player in the world, just my opinion. Um, behind Bellerin, well, about the same as Bellerin. Him and Bellerin are the fastest, in my opinion. I think Aubameyang slightly overrated in pace. Shooting, I think that'll be down 1 to 86. Passing, stay 84. Dribbling, down 1 to 85. Defending, up 2 to 59. And physical, up 2 to 78. And I think that'll be his next year's card, guys, to be honest. And it's even better. It's just getting better every year. And, yep, that's what I think Real Madrid's next year's team will be with the stats. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Anyone will do it. And, uh, yeah, guys, this was Alex from the OK Gaming here. Peace.